Hi everybody, welcome to the latest fan cam. So before we get on with the fan cams, as usual, no, get downloading the One Football app. It is free. The link is in the description for that. All the latest news, your transfers, your gossip, stats with Newcastle United. Every football fan needs it. Right, hi everyone. So I'm joined by Miklos. Thank you very much for coming on. Mick. No problem. Uh, what's your initial thoughts on that? We're hung on so far. This mistake led to the goal. Disappointing. Yeah, I think I think it would have probably been churlish to say that. Um, we deserved a point uh, because I just think at the end of the day Tottenham had an awful lot of good good chances I know the goals are a, a nasty goal to concede but um, you know they did have the lion's share of, of chances the lion's share of, of possession didn't create too much good header good header by uh, Rondon to hit the post second half Perez had a couple of little half chances um, but I think it, I think it, as I say I think it would have been probably unfair to say we deserved a point but again the backs to the wall uh, worked hard you know put a shift in um, and at the end were undone by a goal which certainly the goalkeeper um, will be upset by but I've, I've just posted a, um, a, a thing online just saying don't blame him no blame no shame he's been too good for this club to worry about a goal that's been conceded today he's done too much for this football club leave the kid alone He's done fine, but that was a bad, bad mistake for the goal. Yeah, he's been absolutely brilliant, hasn't he, yeah. in, the, in his first 12 months? Absolutely. That was a minging game to watch. I think both sides were poor, Mick, and the atmosphere, I mean, half empty, flat. Somebody told me before the game that they set a record last home game, Tottenham, for the most number of empty seats in a Premier League stadium. I mean, obviously it's not their stadium, yeah. and it is a 90,000-seater stadium, but there were 60,000 empty seats at their last game. Now, there must have been, I would have thought conservatively there today, at least 40,000 empty seats. Now, why don't they give Newcastle more tickets? I know a lot of people who wanted to come to the game today. As you say, the atmosphere was poor. And the other thing I said today, uh, after the game was that's the worst third placed Premier League team I've seen for a long time. I mean I know they're missing Kane, I know they're missing Ali, but that 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 doesn't look to me like a top top Premier League team. That doesn't a challenge for the title. Supposedly challenging still outwardly for the title but is next best behind Manchester City and Liverpool. If that's the next best behind the top two then I'm afraid the standards aren't that great below Liverpool and Man City. Positives to come from this though, Mick. We've broken records. Yeah. And if I said to you, out of these two games, we picked up three points, you would have snatched the, my arm off. Well, I, I've just said there that I, I, did, I did post that no shame, no blame for Dubravka. And I, at the bottom of that post, I put hashtag three points from two tough games. Now, as you say, if we're drawn against Man City and drawn here today, everybody would have been cock -a -hoop. You only get two points for two draws. You know, we've come out of it with three points. So, you know, we're better off um, than I think we probably come Monday morning could have wished for. So, you know, I know it's all after the after the event and it's all, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. And today's game was an absolute shocker. Um, but in terms of how the week could have panned out, I think you've got to say it's been a decent week. And Mick, before I let you go, you know, we've only got to play the two big sides yeah. now in the, in the Premier League. We've got to start now picking up points. Huddersfield at home. I know we've got Wolves next, yeah, but yeah. Huddersfield won. That's a bank. Surely we've got to get three points there. Well, it, as I say, it, it does look increasingly like you know that that major major threat of relegation which was looming and was hanging maybe a month or so ago it's it looks like it's dissipating it looks like slowly but surely you know more by other people's you know misfortunes and inadequacies rather than how great we've been but it does look like I think sooner rather than later you can put that to bed um, and don't forget it you know it was in the second half of last season that they started climbing you know and Almiron uh, as I say we, we don't know what he's like but he might just be that little bit of a breath of fresh air that we needed just to spice it up just to freshen it up a little bit the left back we don't know an awful lot about there's players coming back from injury as well yeah. I think slowly but surely I, th I think we've seen um, a, a tidal change in the last maybe month or so and it looks as though and, and it, it's terrible to say it, but you know it, it's only in the second half of a season that you find out what a team's all about and a team managed by Rafa Benitez is going to keep going it, you know and, and, and a lot of teams they're on the beach by February you know you know I, I've said you know many times this season you'll find out what Liverpool are all about when it gets really twitchy at the end of the season you find out what teams are about and you find out that that, that coaches and managers bring the best out of their players at the tail end of the season and I think Benitez will do that with Newcastle. Um, I don't think it's going to be pretty. I hope 
it improves when the pressure you know you know just when 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 the, when the pressure lessens a little bit when the, when they've got a little bit of freedom let's hope they play a bit of football because at this minute in time you, we're seeing nothing in terms of football we're seeing nothing in terms of entertainment but you know they've got a different agenda at this minute in time it's all about points it's all about getting clear of that bottom three we can listen to mick all day couldn't we mick thank you very much no safe worries. journey home thank thanks you. for coming on see you later